Hey, it's Andy from the Adobe Express team here. In this short video, we're going to show you how you can get the most from the social media caption writer. You can think about using the social media caption writer in two ways. Firstly, to help you come up with ideas when you're a little bit short of inspiration and two, helping you refine existing captions. Right then, so let's show you how you can dive straight into it. We're going to press schedule on the left hand side here. This will take you into your content scheduler. This is a great opportunity for you to build your content plan in a simple and intuitive calendar interface. Here we've already got an example post drafted. So this is the social media update that I regularly do. Now we've only got uh, a bit of a kind of prompt here of social media update. I haven't got much else in here, but that's enough for us to generate a brand new caption. So we're going to press generate here and generate a new caption. So this will base it on our three words that we've put in here. So it's going to base the output based on that. If we like it, we can insert it. We could go ahead and try again if we want to. If we're not quite happy with the first result, there we go. We've got an idea. I think this is a bit shorter, so we're going to go with this. We're going to insert that. Now, even though we've inserted it, we still have the opportunity to adjust and amend this like we would in any other caption we're writing on a content scheduler. So here we can adjust it manually or we could say, you know, maybe we don't want we've got exciting news. Maybe that doesn't feel like our brand tone. We can just go ahead and generate and then we could rewrite this. So we could just simply rewrite this section here. Exciting news alert, get ready for something big. So we can just insert that. It's just going to change up that word. Equally, if we're thinking maybe this is a little too short, we can just highlight that, press generate, and we can lengthen this section. So we've got a lot of opportunity and flexibility to really refine our captions. Now, uh, let's go with this one. It's a little bit longer form, but we can just adjust this and maybe we'll have a bit of a carriage return in here to space it out a little bit. So that gives you an idea as how we can create something from scratch and how we can also refine some existing content. Now with that, I'm just gonna go ahead and save changes. Now let's create something from scratch actually. So I'm gonna move that post uh, to the next day or next week, and we're gonna create a new one today. Now we can select our social channels here. The good thing about selecting your social channels first, it means that based on what channels you selected, whether X is included or not, it will help the caption writer constrain how many characters it gives you. So everything we've built around the caption writer is designed for social media captions. You'll have seen the hashtags and emoji choices previously. So it really helps you refine your social media practices and really help you stay in the guidelines of what best practice is on social media. So here, as you can see, generates grayed out because we haven't added any prompt or any kind of caption. So we could start with a simple prompt based on what we want to write about. Uh, we could say like the importance of a social media calendar. So we could do something like that and we could generate a brand new caption based on that. So if we've got a concept for a post, this will then come up with it. Now, uh, this is all a bit short uh, for me. So what we're going to just go ahead and do, we're going to insert this one because I quite like the hashtags, but we really do want to make that longer. So we're going to lengthen that one out a little bit. Perfect. This is what I was looking for. A bit more inspiration, a bit more detail around the importance uh, of a social media calendar. Now we've shown a few ways that we can create from scratch. We can refine some existing stuff. Let's kind of deep dive a little bit more into existing content refinement. So what we can do, I'm just going to delete that for now. We're going to take one of the blogs that are on Adobe Express here. So related to the launch of our new mobile app. So here, what we're going to go ahead and do is take some of this headline text. But of course, we don't want to just put out the same thing that's gone out on the blog. We want to create something that's a little bit more appropriate for social. So we're simply going to take this in here and we're going to highlight it all. I'm going to highlight it all, which will then give us our options of re rewrite, shorten and lengthen. So as long as we've highlighted it, it means we've got some more kind of editing tools. So we're going to rewrite this because we want to rewrite it to make it sound a little bit more exciting. Cool. All right. So that looks a bit better, I think. So we're going to insert that one in. So this is a great way of you repurposing existing content, starting to remix some of the copy to allow you to really create some social first captions based on existing uh, existing content and copy. In this one, I still think it's probably a little too long. So once again, I'm going to select it all. I'm going to shorten this one down to make it a bit more appropriate. There we go. So uh, that's a little shorter. So we're going to go with that one. So that gives you an idea of the flexibility of this tool, both in terms of creating from scratch and refining some existing captions. A great way to help you remix and repurpose content 
great way for you to come up with ideas and get inspired and ensure that you stay within the best practices of social media using a short number, a smaller number of emojis and not oversaturating it, a well chosen list of hashtags and ensuring that your content is all at its right and optimum length. So that's how you can use a social media caption writer. I really hope you find the product useful. Any feedback, do let us know. I'll speak to you all soon. Take care. Bye bye.